First tonight, the developments continue to come in about a body found in a small Indiana lake, not far from where missing Dr. Talika Patrick was last known to be. The latest development tonight is confirmation from the medical examiner working this case that the body is that of a black female. Further confirmation of the fear that hopes of finding Dr. Patrick alive are no more. This is the scene where that body was found. As you can see, the lake is right up against the highway there, not far from where Talika's car was found tonight. We do have team coverage from Indiana to West Michigan. We start tonight live at the scene in Porter, Indiana with 24 Hour News 8's Heather Walker. Heather. Leon, we're at Lake Charles Park and you can hear just how close it is to the highway. And she was freaking out because there was um, a ton of vehicles, a ton of cops, uh, dive rescue. Brandon French says he was woken up by his panicked wife, Erin, around 8 this morning. Police, fire, and a dive team were set up at Lake Charles, which is right off their backyard. We didn't know what was going on. They knew about the Talika Patrick case. They were outside the night her car was found off I-94 near the Porter exit. They were asking us if they saw people on our property or anything, and we have two dogs. We saw when you came up, they're, they're definitely alert you, so I don't, I don't know. Talika's car was less than a mile from the lake. There's a barbed wire fence dividing the highway from the lake, but once you cross that, the lake is just steps away. Authorities searched Lake Charles in January when it was still frozen, but didn't find anything. Last week, there was a search near where Talika's car was found. It also came up empty. The coroner says he can't tell how long the body has been there. However, because of decomposition, he will have to identify it using dental records. If it is her body, that answers the question where Talika Patrick went. But how she got there remains unanswered. I'm sad for the family, but at the same time, uh, relief, I guess, if it is. That way the family can at least now have some closure and put her to rest. Now, an autopsy later this week will provide more answers. The coroner says there are no obvious signs of trauma. In Porter, Indiana, Heather Walker, 24-hour News 8. Still lots of questions on this one, Heather, thank you. We have been in contact with Talika's family throughout this process as they take in this devastating news. 24 Hour News 8, Steve Kelso is here now with how they are responding to today's news. Since news of the discovery broke, we've been working to find those close to Dr. Talika Patrick. Since six o'clock, we've been able to speak with her ex-husband. Earlier in the day, we spoke with the investigator hired by her family. I, I don't know, I guess I'm speechless. Smiley Calderon. He was once married to Talika Patrick. He had previously expressed his concerns about his ex-wife's decision to move to Michigan in the first place. Tonight, he says what little news he has heard is hard to take. Very emotional, and um, I'd like to, I guess we'd like to know more. At first, I thought it was a hoax. Jim Carlin was hired as a private investigator by Talika's family in January. He has spent countless hours searching and meeting with family members. He said he did not see it ending this way. He has spoken with Talika's family today. They had such faith, and, and I did. And, you know, the only thing that uh, obviously is tragic in ending is this is that faith that they had that she was going to come home. Also tonight, this statement from Western Michigan University's Homer Stryker MD School of Medicine, where Patrick was a resident. Quote, we are awaiting the results of an official confirmation from authorities and offer our sincerest condolences and prayers to Talika's family during this difficult time. Patrick's ex-husband says his thoughts are also with her family. Yes, they're a very religious family, and um, we can never lose hope. Even now, I mean, I mean, I don't know all the facts, but I still wish for the best. Also tonight, a statement from the Kalamazoo County Sheriff's Department. It briefly details the gruesome discovery, but concludes no further information will be available at this time. Steve Kelso, 24-Hour News 8. Well, this is a story that we have been keeping tabs on since we first heard of Talika Patrick's disappearance last year. The search hit the four-month mark just yesterday. This all began back on December 5th of last year. This is surveillance footage of the Radisson Hotel in Kalamazoo, where the 30-year-old doctor in residency at Western Michigan University tried to get a room, but apparently did not have the means to get that room. Shortly after that, an employee there then dropped her off at Borges Hospital where she worked. That was the last time that anyone saw 
Talika Patrick. We will be staying on top of this developing story right here on 24 Hour News 8. Even as you sleep, look for the latest on Daybreak starting at 4.30 in the morning and all the time at woodtv.com as we bring you updates just as soon as we learn more.